Hi, Jefferson Santos here, seven figure entrepreneur and author of the book, Higher Life Design. And we are here today to talk about which kind of person are you? And specifically, I'm talking about the way that you think. And there's two types of thinking. Well, there's a lot of different types of thinking, but these two ways are key. And that's, are you an abundant thinker? Or are you a scarcity thinker? And sometimes you might be abundant in certain areas of your life, but you're scarcity in some other areas of your life. So let's kind of compare that a little bit. All right. So if you have an abundant mentality, you're always thinking there's always more. If you have a scarcity mentality, there's never enough. Okay. Here's another one. An abundant person thinks that we can share resources. You know, there's always more. And scarcity is like, I got to hoard the resources. There's not, there's not enough. Okay. And some of this stuff might be simple elementary to you, but for some people, they need to, they need constant reminders about what's abundant and what's scarcity. Okay. Uh, abundant trusts easily. Okay. Scarcity suspects easily. Think about that. See, I mean, a trust thing is really something that you're, you're starting from within, right? A lot of people that immediately don't trust people. And I found this out through myself is you don't trust yourself. Or maybe there's ways that you keep on letting yourself down. Maybe you started a bunch of diets and didn't follow through. Maybe you started a bunch of things and didn't follow through. So since you don't trust yourself, maybe you're not quick to trust others, right? That's something in that abundant mentality because business travels at the speed of trust. Relationships can progress and friendships can progress faster at the speed of trust. Invites competition. That's abundant mentality. They invite competition because what? It makes us better, right? And then scarcity despises competition. Well, that's not good. I mean, how do you get better if you're always not competing against maybe the best or someone that could be challenging you, right? Abundant people or abundant thinkers, they always think about over delivering, like way over delivering, more value, more value, more value. And then scarcity thinkers, they, they underperform, you know, the whole over promise and under deliver type thing, right? Well, abundant people, they under promise and over deliver optimistic attitude abundant people have, they're genuinely happy and they're consciously generating that in their mind. But scarcity people, they have a very pessimistic attitude. You know, the glass is only half full, right? Or half empty, I guess. <laughs> I'm normally abundant minded. So yeah, half empty, right? Well, you know, I don't know if they're going to do that. No, sometimes you just got to give people the benefit of the doubt and be genuinely optimistic. Abundant people are big thinkers, huge thinkers. And then scarcity people are small thinkers. They don't, they don't really think outside the box that we always hear, right? So big thinkers, if you're gonna think big, Donald Trump said, I mean, if you're gonna think, Donald Trump said, might as well think big, right? And abundant people appreciate other people. They appreciate their, their skills, their, their strengths, all of that. And scarcity people, they criticize others. They criticize why they're not good at this or they're not good at that, instead of celebrating what they're good at. Abundant people, they embrace risk. They understand that, you know, a ship is made to be sailed out to sea, right? Not just hanging out in the harbor. And scarcity people, they avoid risk. They try to tippy toe their way to the grave safely, which we all, we're all gonna die. I mean, we're never gonna get there alive. So if we wanna achieve anything great in our relationships and our life, we have to embrace risk. We have to dance with the risk. We have to understand if, you know, you cannot have success without the option for failure right? It's a two-sided coin. See, everybody wants the success, but understand that, that every, every success, there could be that option on the other side of the coin to fail. But if we take those experiences and stack them up, we can get to success faster. And then abundant people, they celebrate people. They celebrate who they are. And scarce, scarcity people, they envy people. They envy what they have or whatever. And so, I mean, think about like, if abundant were a color, what would it be? And if scarcity were a color, what would it be? I mean, just think about it. I mean, scarcity sounds like it would be like a, you know, some kind of dark, dingy color or something like that. And abundant would be some sort of a bright color that's like open and, 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 and receiving, right? And so, you know, I think just doing this video with you has helped me really distinguish that as well, because I think sometimes in my life, uh, if something isn't happening right, I tend to even move into that scarcity mindset. But the cool thing is that because of awareness, I quickly want to go back to abundant because of the differences, right? And I think that as human beings, I think we have to let ourselves, we're not going to be perfect, right? And I think that um, having that abundant mentality is just a way better way to just go through life because you can pass that on to your business partners and kids and your relationships. And with that said, I hope to help you arrive at your intended destination, healthy, wealthy, and happy.